If you work with data for different years or division or products, you may often need to save each worksheet as separate PDF file. Since it is a time consuming process if done manually, in this tutorial, I will explain how you can speed up this job by writing a VBA macro code. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 Minutes. So let's start. This is my sample workbook which has 5 worksheets here and I want to save each worksheet as separate PDF in demo folder in my D drive. In order to do this, we will write a small VBA macro code. So let's open our VBA editor by pressing Alt F11. In this window, we will write our code. Since I have the code already copied in clipboard, I will just paste it here which will help us in reducing the video length. This is the macro code that will do our job. I have also provided this code in the description box below. Now let us understand this code line by line. The first line here is just a comment for us to better understand what our macro is supposed to do. Then we have started our macro with name save each as pdf. You can give any name you prefer to. In this line we have declared a variable ws which will be referred to worksheet in rest of our code. In the next line we have started a loop which will run through each worksheet. Inside the loop this line has 5 parts which needs to be taken care of. The first part is to pick up each worksheet ws and export as fixed format. This gives instruction to excel that we are trying to save the file. In the second part we have informed the type of file we need to export that is excel type pdf. The third part holds the location of the file. So in my case I have written it as d colon slash demo slash. The fourth piece of information is the name of file. To enable me to easily relate I have kept the name of the file same as the name of the worksheet. And finally the fifth part is the extension of the file which is pdf. After this we have closed our loop with next ws because up to this line all our worksheet will be saved. So once all our worksheets are saved we want a confirmation from the code that our job is done. So this line will give us a pop up message box with message worksheets are successfully saved. And finally we close our function with end sub. Now since we are done with our code let's close this VBA editor and return back to our excel sheet to test our macro code. To run our code we need to press alt f8. This will open the macro dialog box. You can see our macro code name here is available. Ok. Before saving this worksheet as pdf have a look at the folder. This is empty right now. Now let us run our macro to save our worksheets. Just select the name and press run. This will take some time depending upon number of sheets and data in it. And we got our message saying worksheets are successfully saved. We will just click ok to this message and we will go to our demo folder to check our pdfs. Great. We have all our worksheets saved as pdf. Let us open our pdf and check each one whether the right data is there in the worksheets or not. All the sheets are saved with the data in the worksheets as expected. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.